Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spar and Brawl. I hope you're having a decent day. As always, I'm joined by my co-host, Sam, and we're back with another video. So this video is about uh, an Iranian actress, singer. I mean, Sam is going to tell you guys everything about it by the name of Gugush. And she's been embroiled, I believe, in some kind of scandal where you can perhaps also draw some parallels with the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. But anyway, with that out of the way, please like and subscribe and I'll let Sam uh, tell you about the rest. Uh, I assume most of the people who watch our Amber Heard stories don't watch it because of <laughs> Amber Heard, but watch it because of our amazing insights and our amazing uh, comedy, which is just unsuppressed all over YouTube. But, so therefore, I decided to bring our uh, you know insights and comedy to an Iranian case. And let me uh, set the stage that this Please. is a, a very much a cultural thing, first of all, e from Iran. Iranian community cannot tolerate being any less in anything, in <laughs> evil, in good, in anything. Then America, especially, but any like any China and Greek are like the only two countries we are like, okay, you know, we <laughs> accept these two are cool. But the rest, like as soon as America does something, there is protest in America, we can do protest too, <laughs> you know. Uh, as soon as there is, you know, like there is a Me Too movement in America, we do move Me, Me Too movement in Iran, which was good, by the way, which was, that was good, that was good. But then we saw the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. And as a community, we got together, there was a big meeting under the mountain, of course, uh, you know, we all, for these meetings, you have to show up with a camel. So we went to the meeting and we decided, okay, what we're going to do? We're going to have Gugush, who is like Iranian version of like Marilyn Monroe and Madonna sort of rolled into one. Kind of. Uh, my headphone might pop out. So I might, you know. Uh, she's going to do an interview in which she's going to reveal us stuff about her personal life, which has you know, it's just if anybody knows anything about her personal life, has always been sordid to say the be to say the least. You know, uh, and I'm gonna, be I'm gonna like try to top Amber Heard as like the most evil person that a female uh, character on a TV can on a you know media stage can be. And man, it was amazing. It was amazing. You know, the Manito channel, which is this weird yeah. sort of a pro-monarchist, pro... So they're pro-liberal. They're I don't know what they are. They're not super... They're just... They're very nostalgic for Shahera. They're, they try to be... Pretend they're not political, but they're very political and all that. So she did an interview there. And again, she's like Iranian Marilyn Monroe. And she's Iranian sex symbol... Uh, she's a beautiful voice. You can't deny that. She has been like, you know, very good singer, very good, hugely popular. I mean, famously, when she uh, went away from Iran to America after many years of after revolution, she outsold uh, Celine Dion, I believe, and all those people in theaters. And I can Super, see that. Like, yeah, she's just and she's still like, alive. Huge. Um, of course since she did this <laughs> video. Yeah, and she's, and by the way, is still attractive, although she's done very much, like she's done a lot of, like too much in my view, but she's a still very, she's unbelievably gorgeous. And then uh, she did this interview with this channel and she's been married approximately, I believe, uh, sorry, it's, uh, I mean, the updates. I, I I'll put, look it uh, up, you, you, you talk. Yeah, I put, no, I put Google notification for it. I believe <laughs> at the moment it's it's 365, <laughs> but it's going up. No, I think it's eight. In reality, I think she was married eight times. I found it. Eight or six, like that. I mean, but, Wiki, uh, poor Wikipedia I, only... <laughs> only has four of them. So if Wikipedia only has four of them. Four. Yeah, there's probably like eight to twelve okay I, she had I mean, yeah. relationships yeah. as well but i mean she, you know it's not like wikipedia has all of them so you know and two of them have no, their she, own it might um i don't i believe you anyway my point is if, ages if of, course, of course wikipedia has four <laughs> i wouldn't One be surprised was, if there are at least i eight. mean you in in a way you could say actually she was another parallel with her is elizabeth taylor because she was one of her husband was uh was uh Paris Paris Wusubi? I forget his first name. I'm not very good with Behruz. Behruz. Behruz I'm looking he's here. He's a super 
He's a super famous Iranian. He was the Iranian version. He was Iranian Humphrey Bogart or Iranian uh, Burton, uh, you know, uh, Richard yeah. Burton. Like just one of uh, like like the method actor. He played he uh, played in this super famous movie that is about uh, it's like Iranian taxi driver or uh, you know about their working classes a thug sort of character and yes. all that. So uh, she, but then in this interview, but yeah, she it's was four based, by the way officially. I, I mean, four officially it's Google, four. Or, yeah. No, no, it's it's four. It's probably but four. Damn, so Jesus I'm exaggerating. Christ. But yeah, I mean, yeah. But, but, but yeah, continue. But but she had loads of uh, famous relationships with actors as well. So I, you know, for all intensive purposes, it's in three digit numbers. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. well, well, or or none of these count as marriages. I think <laughs> you can go either way. Yes, yeah, yeah. She she knew a lot of men. Yeah, it's just technically speaking, she was married to these people, but. You know, I think the definition of marriage needs to be a bit tightened. And anyway, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. She was, not, she was legally, let's say, married. Yeah. Spiritually, not so sure. It's like, but, think uh, of a high school uh, fling. Or like, not even. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm mocking. Yeah, but I like, feel, sometimes that, some of these relationships no, and marriages, I'm like, okay, if they're married, I don't know what I am. I'm <laughs> like, exactly. eternally no, bound. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, this I shouldn't count God. as marriages. I mean, I don't know. No, I swear be. to God, if I swear to God, if in ten years it turns out that you've been doing some like you know cheating or me too, like I don't want to hear this. Like, <laughs> please don't do that. It's gonna this video is gonna get clipped and all. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. But uh, no, no, she was. I mean, she was a she was a, a street performer with her dad basically when she was from oh, really? very oh, young age. Yeah, she, yeah, she was. A, she, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, it's about to run out. I think, but she was a street performer for very young age with her dad. She would, you know, sing and dance. Then uh, I don't know if it's her first husband or second husband. By the way, two of her husbands I sort of no personally so mm-hmm. i'm giving like this is like mm-hmm. really inside track knowledge uh, one of her first husbands is a family like uh, very is a, in our uh, in-laws are very close to him right like very close family you know basically i can't mm-hmm. see anyway and then he i th- i think it's her, her first husband he had he he yeah. was a cabaret owner or bunny um and then he was cabaret owner and then uh, he put her on in the on the scenes in cabaret and stuff, and that's how she became famous. And then when she became famous, he left. She had one child with him. Then sh- she left him for the actors. I don't remember if it was that actor or first time, or it was another famous actor, Fardin or somebody else. But then uh, she married uh, uh, Behruz Wusuri, which is the super famous actor. They were married for like one year. Like not yeah, one like year that. literally, man. Jesus yeah, Christ. and they and the whole time there's Iranian newspapers from then and stuff, man. The whole time, by the way, even in her, during her first night, she was uh, pretty much alcoholic, uh, drug. She she was doing drugs all the time, uh, all that. And according to her interview this time, in third, her third marriage fell apart because the guy was doing uh, the guy was freebasing all the time. And man, I mean, I'll, I'll get to why she's evil after all of this. Uh, but like the way she was describing, he was doing, you know, it was so disgusting. She was doing free basing, and you know, wait, what's was, free basing? You know, while I would do it too, but you know, <laughs> disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Oh, you know, just a little bit of do you have coke? Do you have coke? Oh, I is that what it's referred to? Right now, right now. Oh, so. Uh, yeah, and she's discovered. But yeah, sorry, she's... I don't think you could hear me, so I kept on asking, not kept on asking, but asked you twice at the end. So, what is free basing, by the way? I don't, I'm guessing that's some kind of like drug thing, but I've never heard that actually. Oh, free basing is, I believe, I'm not. I think is when you uh, sort of you. I don't know how, but you heat up yeah. coke and then you uh, smoke it. Oh, so like crack cocaine is free basing. Uh, I I don't I think freebasing is when you do that with coke, not with crack. But isn't crack coke? Crack is coke. I think crack comes from coke, but it's not coke coke. I, I think I, I, I never done crack. I, I believe but <laughs> I believe this. Um, what you? I, I, yeah, if I'm putting two and two together. I guess 
freebasing is yeah when you turn coke into it's a hardcore it's it's pretty hardcore was it freebasing or no i was no the the word is correct i'm looking it up yeah i'm looking it up i mean no 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 I just I think Richard the first time I heard about it was Richard Pryor I think talking about it uh, he used I think in his stand up but I'm not sure maybe that was eight followers I don't know no but it's anyway. exactly what they do in Sopranos and all. I think it's like you, is that you turn, crack um mm-hmm. yeah I honestly believe crack is literally anyways people know but you just but yeah you just put like it's like cocaine when you um I thought, and then put the thing and then you do it that way I think I mean I don't know I anyways, thought crack is I thought crack is like the shittier version of coke, but I thought it's crack like cocaine, commonly known as crack, is a free base form of cocaine that can be smoked. See, I'm quite smart, huh? You give me a little bit of mm. hint about free base, a little bit of alcohol. I put two together, I become Wikipedia for you. You're, anyway, you are ahead. wasted. You are wasted on YouTube. <laughs> you should, you should have been on the streets of Baltimore dealing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> So freebay, I look. You don't explain it to me. Just conceptually, I can. Uh, like you suddenly became like Neo from Matrix. Ah, stop. Okay. Sorry for interrupting you. Now you can continue the story. Now I really want to do coke. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, now all I want to do is cook <laughs> by the way uh, talking of Johnny Depp and Amber sorry quick, quick digression you know one thing that I found like people naturally found weird was that they said Johnny Depp whenever he does cook he sort of gets balanced out and calms down and I don't know I don't think it happens to a lot of people but it, I've seen it happen to a few and it happens to me a lot that when I do cook I calm I don't necessarily want to I want to watch I, anyway. It's just it's, it's, it's not. I mean, from based on what I hear everywhere, that is, um, that is common, right? I mean, you hear about people in like Wall no, Street man. and work areas. They do it to like focus, and maybe they do get a bit pumped, but it's not like they go and they don't go out and and party. It just kind of maybe but, levels them out, makes them smarter for true, that time or something. So but, I think a lot of know, people, yeah, people I, do it for a those, long time. They do it like that. Or I've heard people who are also really like messed up and they do a little bit and it quote unquote sobers them up. That's <laughs> sobers true. That's them up. True. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. But. Yeah. Balance, balance them out. Not sobers them yeah. up. Balance. But but no, it's just that, uh, yeah, uh, again, yeah, you're right. I didn't think of that, but I thought maybe in a stock market and stuff, maybe they do that because they want to stay awake or something. That was the... I yeah, or like confidence and other reasons. But yeah, I just meant maybe, a lot of yeah, people... Yeah. Um, I guess yeah, people who just, do it who work and they do it during uh, work time, I think they uh, all see it like that kind of or like you know functional. Robin Vi- and Robin Williams, who's I miss that guy so much by yeah. the way. Robin Williams is a stand-up. He talks about uh, that in some of his stand-up that whenever he did coke, he would just uh, <laughs> opposite of what he was actually, which mm-hmm. was based. It was like he was born with coke in his blood. Anyway, uh, sorry. So Gugush then talked about the and then fourth husband again is a neighbor of ours, a very famous movie director, the guy who made the movie that I told you, the taxi driver of mm-hmm. Iran movie. Yeah. It's called Kaiser or Kaiser, like yeah. it's a common name in Iran. And then he he uh, helped, he was a famous movie director and he had a wife and a, a small child and the wife was sick and. The circumstances in that case and another case which was didn't lead to a marriage, like basically she's very famous before and after revolution for what a lot of, again, women describe as is stealing their husbands. I don't know if you can steal somebody, but, it's, you know, you know, I guess it's not exactly the nicest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, she like, you know, especially if somebody's, you know, somebody's having cancer and then you. I don't know, man. And, and the husband, in my view, is the worst part in that deal. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm glad you said because that is, still, yeah. But I think that if you're married to someone, you definitely are the worst. But the other person is not also a good person, I feel. If it's, it's two people falling in love by accident, it's something. But then for like a one-year marriage that, you know, you know what I, I mean? Know. Like it, and I then, really, I feel you, but I really, 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 really put most of the onus or the blame. Anyway, case by case, blah, blah, blah. But on the married, yeah. uh, on the married yeah, yeah, person. Yeah. I feel like most it's less the far, other yeah. person's response uh, 
uh, yes, ability. Yes, for sure. But anyway, sure. <laughs> let's continue. But, 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 you know, like when the person has a sick wife and the sick wife has gone to a foreign country for treatment and all, you know, the circumstances are quite uh, disgusting. And man, okay, now we get to why no, I... For sure, it's man, disgusting. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so far, and then by the way, she, the, she uses this guy, the famous director, and I didn't know this because she always says, you know, I stayed in Iran for 20 years after the revolution, even though in Iran, women can't sing, which by the way, they can't, and it's awful. They can't sing for women. There can mm. be a co- f- female-only concert, which, I mean, I, anyways, that's a whole different thing. Let's just stick to fun. Um, then she's she was like, yeah, I stayed in Iran for 20 years. And then I found out she didn't stay in Iran. She was forbidden. Like it, she was barred from leaving Iran legally. Like you can't, you can't come on TV and keep saying I stay. Like, oh, But I mean, what happened years, to her is worse though. Like, well, I don't understand. Why would she be framing it that way? Like being barred from leaving is worse than because, no, no, voluntarily because, no, no, no. staying behind. Because, yeah, what is she trying to say? Because she's saying that I, I because it, as you know, Iranians, even the ones that are abroad, are super nationalistic. Iran Except is not me. some country. I mean, yes, <laughs> but no, I know much talking, less. I mean, you know, she, of course, she like spent most she, of her life. As, yes, yes, not. We are not talking. I'm sorry, we are not talking third rate Iranian. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But yes, yeah, so she's basically saying that I choose to stay in my country, even with yeah, the yeah. laws that are, you know. And for Iranians, that's like, oh my God, we yeah. have like, you know. So that's that a that's a lie. I mean, most likely, Bas- right? Because no, no, it's lie. It's the not second lie, she had a, the chance, it, she left. The second that says, she was allowed to, she left. That's the, she married the guy, the famous director, because he had connections. Mm. He, he was uh, still working and shit. He managed to get their permission to basically go abroad for a movie. And then, you know, she, basically it was an escape plan. And fair, again, yeah, I don't yeah, think anybody, yeah. should, anybody should be barred from traveling. But don't, yeah. yeah come, don't here. come and make yourself look like a martyr, like as if Ca- you were the one. Yeah. Come here between the age of uh, 14 to. Uh, 16 17 i believe i was you know i was i was avoiding sex it was a choice <laughs> it was a complete choice <laughs> it, was, uh, it was you know there was you know uh, i was i was doing a sacrifice i was trying to prove that men cannot have sex what are you talking about <laughs> Shut up. i get you, you know? now yeah i get you uh, Hashi. Uh, yeah yeah yeah, it's just like nobody was, uh, you know, like, like you weren't allowed to leave, all right? <laughs> so I didn't know about that. That I found out. But man, Jesus Christ. I, but I, by the way, it led, to, it led to very much, I had a good quality time with my mom because I had no idea about any of this show. So she was telling me all of this. And it's usually like, you know, whenever she talks about politics or something, it leads to disagreements let's say <laughs> so here i i had no knowledge so she could just basically tell me stuff and yeah man apparently she's basically before revolution she was like every other week she was stealing somebody's boyfriend or fiance or husband well, I mean, of another she, famous yeah. person <laughs> and then she's done like she's doing all kinds of drugs and in this interview man she's basically like Yes, my first husband was a bit of a thug and he was so low class. He was blah, blah. And man, the first husband. Yeah, now this though, is bad. Now this, this now this and, is what makes yeah. me like think. Otherwise, the other stuff, I'm like, yeah, sure. Steal other people's husbands. Your biggest singer, actress. But yeah, this. Now, this is very off. No, man, that's that's also very bad. No, that's not level. also a virtue. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but this I mean, is even yeah. worse. Like in your 70s, you show up on TV 20, 30 years later. And yes, uh, and, you're making and, these but, comments like, you know, there's like a period much, of reflection, which makes it, I guess, worse in my mind. No, no. And it may if the guy was like that and he was a bit thuggish and low class, but the guy, even after all this for the guy is famous too in Iran. Right. He does interviews all the time. 
And for the last 40 years, he's been defending her. He always yeah, you're telling kills her. Yeah, he's always talking about her as if she's the she's the lioness of Iranian Iran. Mm-hmm. She's the biggest Iranian woman. She's the Joan of Arc of Iran. She's the, uh, you know, she, he talks yeah. about her like, and from the family connection we have, uh, he's not a good man in any, he's very much like a Trump type guy, right? But he was in love with her like a mad and continues to be in love with her like a mad person. And man, she did this interview and then she talked shit about her son with this yeah. guy. She was she was like, yeah, when he was a five year old, he was he was all sorry. He left her. He left her with her father when he was very young. He left literally left her, just abandoned her to no, go. She- Oh, she left. She, 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 she left, left her. Sorry, him. she left the babe, the child. And then when he was like seventeen, he left. Uh, he uh, she, when she uh, got to reunite with him, they lived together for like two or three years. And all she could talk about was shit about her son. Wow. And how? And the son is a semi-successful rapper, and he's has his own he he's clearly so goddamn damaged he's always yeah, had these sort of celebrity of things he's uh, he's not a he's not somebody i would say he's a good man or a role model but mm. he seems like a nice just kid that has been damaged just yeah. com- like destroyed by parents that so a dad that just gave him all the money in the world mm. and no like parental control yeah. and a mother that was never there and she talks shit about pretty much she talks shit about everybody except the famous movie actor guy who was yeah. she was married to for two seconds too. And man, then the, there is there was this response from the first husband the next day on Instagram or something. And he was this guy who is like Trump sort of American guy, imagine with a polo shirt came and he came and he was like, yes, Gugush, you you used to be a lioness. <laughs> You, you know, you where is that lioness that I knew? You go on TV and you talk shit about me and your son. Is this right after 40 years of defending you? And man, it, this guy is like a thuggish Iranian and he's pretty much breaking down in tears almost like, I loved you. And why do you do this? Why? Jesus why? Christ, why? poor guy. It's so, man, it's so funny. The poor guy is so like sad and he's just, and he's a still, he doesn't say anything bad about her. All he's saying is why you did this. Yeah. And in the best part, the best part was, which I think some of our viewers might appreciate. At the end, he goes, you do you, and why do you do this? Why, Google, you do this? You go to a channel because of some communist, because what? of some fucking communist, and some some people who are not patriots. You sell out uh, us, and like I believe me and every communist or socialist in Iran or anywhere they are, which is about six of us <laughs> anyway. Where it's like, how did we get uh, involved? Yeah, Why? What was? What did we do? It's just like uh, bec- it's because they regard anybody in media as a communist. So mm. you know, like because because they talk about women's issues or something like they're communists. <laughs> and it was so funny though that at the end of all of this, he said, like, "Because I'm some fucking communist, you sell me and your son out. You think this is right? You think this is fair?" And man, I was just laughing my ass Jesus off. That Christ. how did I, what did we, like I, I what did we do? Like this is like the most random like you know hit I yeah. feel. <laughs> yeah, I don't Jeez. know. No, I feel you. I mean, it comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, but so ladies, and how are see, people... ladies a lot. Of... Go ahead, and then ask me hmm. a question. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No. No, so how are folks no, yeah, go ahead. I make imagine. <laughs> how are folks in Iran reacting to this interview? Because like you mentioned, she's uh she's huge, right? So I'm guessing most people have seen or heard uh, about this. No, no, again, like Amber heard, it is not going like she thought it would, because this son, both her son is famous for his uh, emotional problems. Also, the son of the movie director is also super famous now uh, movie actor himself and he, the, he went on the grave on the grave of his mother because the interview came out on the on the anniversary of the death of the wife the, the cancer patient wife that I told you about who was also herself on her own a super famous singer but she was 
like good singer. <laughs> like not that Gugush is very good singer, very beautiful voice, but like it's the difference between she was a high, she was an artist, mm -hmm. you know. Gugush is a pop, pop singer, star. I got if you. that makes sense. You know what I mean? She was an artist. Like I'm trying to think, who's a great female singer? Uh, well, like but, I mean, Venus. I think people I don't want to go that mean. old, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not, you know. I, I, so uh, she went on uh, next to her grave and she made a video, and uh, he yeah. he made a video, yeah. and he was like, "This is really, you know, I'm really hurt by this. You going and talking shit about my because she, the way she portrays the whole situation is like, yeah, she already, you know, as as you know, she already had cancer when I mm. started the relationship yeah, yeah. with." Uh, the husband and you know she already had removed one of her breasts or something it's just very bad look man I so see. she came out really bad i see uh, to be honest no, i've never been a big fan of her personal life no i was gonna but, say <laughs> but, but, but her music is pretty good though I, I, mean, I was gonna say so i've definitely been vindicated because full transparency i've heard the word gugush since i was like a, a kid But I honestly thought that it was a man. I didn't even know. Man, what? Nah, you I didn't even know it was like it was like a woman. I thought maybe it's a man. And Gugush is such a male sounding name. And I just and I looked up in Armenia. What? It's a it's a name for men. Yani, what, wait, wait, wait. To, yani, wait, wait. You don't know like you don't know Gugush music. Perhaps I've heard. If you put play one that I've heard, perhaps. Um, I would recognize it. No, I, but like, no. do you know? Like, wait, do you know AB or Daryush? The um, I, I know AB for sure and Daryush. Their names are familiar, but I couldn't name well, a song. From no, no, them. okay, yeah, yeah, but Gugush is way more famous. Oh, than I Daryush. know, I know, like Gugush so like, well, have, like her name, have, like, have, but I don't know why I thought it was a man. It was a man. <laughs> I mean that is that but is But look I at mean, this. Look at this though, Sam. Okay, then I don't know. What does Gugush I, I, what does Gugush mean in Armenian? Usually used for boys. <laughs> It's referred to a bird. So I went, I think I already had some I already had some yes, things of an Armenian name in the back of my head from somewhere yes. I had inherited. This is like so, the <laughs> This is like the cocaine thing. Yeah. Your brain is just. <laughs> I don't your deal mind with like palace. evidence and information. I more like use reason and logic. <laughs> yeah, the your, your analytical <laughs> skills are. But Google, have you not seen a video like her videos, her interviews? Like it's like it's so weird. It's like somebody telling me they don't know. Like oh, Madonna is a man. What a, is a woman? Sorry. Like this is weird, man. I mean, I don't feel sorry for saying you're third-rate Iranian anymore. I'm but sorry, but I, I like this care. is no, this is, you're not like uh, this ridiculous. Come on, like. But you know, like. Is, but I also I kind I mean, of grew up in a household though, like that. When it comes to Iran, um, they neither like a like my mom. There's like so many things she didn't know because sometimes she didn't live there. But like she's neither like the neither of those who know because i've lived with iranians i've met and know a lot of iranians where they know everything yeah, about your, iranian your family art and everything like non-stop <laughs> met, from the past I, wait, wait. or you, you obsessed just said, with, i met iranians <laughs> <laughs> like, no yes, i want to say I've, i've seen so many iranians <laughs> who you know all they do is talk about like so many of iranian artists and singers and all this like in my family they never talked about it too much and at the same time they also weren't obsessed with like the channels that show like you know iranians in like la and all this so, like when she went there and all the singing liking that so from both worlds like they weren't too no. much into it so i heard like very little like in in my house growing up like there was never like oh let's just play some iranian music whether it was like pre-revolution no, music or after the revolution or anything or cam let's like read this hafez poem or something like that like all these things like never never happened i might have like hurt them you know second like Look, second hand but no my yeah. my family is, is the same except like but what about the grandparents and what about this school like in i never school, went to iranian I... school oh that's true and yeah, my yeah, my yeah. my mom's mom i'm 100 she sends me stuff from gugush <laughs> all the time <laughs> oh, <for laughs> but i don't think <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I don't, I my, mean, no even man, my dad, face is familiar. No, no, I think, even Gugush's no, no, face is I, familiar. I just don't know why I keep why like in my head I also had this image that Gugush right, right. was a male um actor for some reason. Singer. Singer. But 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 I'm like because our parents' generation, I would say, have and social class have a specific like there was almost like a like my dad, if we have like Iranian music or LA music or LA channel is on by accident on satellite. There is almost a violent reaction from him to, yeah. to get to the control and then change it to CNN or something. <laughs> Not this, no. No, I mean, but the, but the, like, uh, yeah, here. like, yeah, in a school or even, man, like this type of thing, by the way, we are talking. It's so funny because they are banned. Like their music and stuff is banned, but they're all the newspapers on uh, the TVs on the channels, not the state TV, but private channels. All of this is discussed. Mm -hmm. Everybody talks about all of this. It's in the like major newspapers. So that's why it's a bit uh, like it's it's a very weird situation that it's quite pervasive Mm -hmm. while not legal. But Mm -hmm. yeah, it's. But yeah. Gugush, come on, man. It's like, again, I am, that was very surprising. <laughs> I am, this is, it's like Wagner thingy. It's almost like, had, anyway, I don't, I get it. This. But we yeah. have to have like a cultural, <laughs> I have to, uh, yeah. You, analytical class for me, I have a cultural <laughs> class for you. <laughs> I wouldn't use my kind of reasoning too much. It worked out with these two things. I didn't take it too far. <laughs> Uh, no, but yeah, it's so yeah, it's a bit. I f- forget what was I talking about. But I left Who it also for the end to not like undermine the story. Yes, thank God, because now I am, I I'm just genuinely just dumb. Fa- I, I I just want to take a shower now. <laughs> just I just want to sit in the shower and think for a while. But yeah, but I wanted to make this announcement as well that uh, yes, uh, uh, yes. As you see, you see, ladies all over the world, uh, and men, you see, men all over the world, we are being destroyed by uh, women who are, uh, you know, who are doing interviews and writing op eds. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. joking. No, I feel bad for the maybe first two husbands. Once, once you're the third husband, you should, <laughs> yeah, you should have thought about it. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm, I'm noticing a pattern <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> Once you're number 12. <laughs> a, yeah. There seems to be a, well, what's that fooled me once? Shame yeah, exactly. on you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, and I made But then what's this thing where people love getting yeah. married? Because, you know, like, okay, fine. Some people get married for paperwork reasons and then they do it. But it's just like, it's like, you know, this rush to getting married, like, you know, among celebrity world and on. Like, why did Johnny Depp and Amber Heard get married? Like, is it like, I guess maybe it's like a few hours of fun. I, think, you know? I, I ass- and, and years of legal trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, what, like, why did Johnny Depp and Amber Heard no, feel wait, like, wait. like, uh, I don't know, she's young, I don't, I don't know, like, what, uh, what, why did either of they, them think, like, they, you know what, yeah, marriage. Well, Amber Heard, obviously. Because of the name, the money? Money, of course, the money, the, yeah, of course. But what money? Then, You're already a movie star, just be a movie star for a few more years she, and more money will come. Oh, that's, man, come on, first of all, she's a female that movie know, is but star. what is she, she gonna do with was, all this money really jesus she doesn't know man i mean she wanted to have a rich she wanted to have a good like anyway she didn't sign a prenup and she was apparently very against the idea of a prenup so i think money was a big issue there but i would add uh for a late for previous generations though as you said i think marriage was a bit of like a girlfriend boyfriend <laughs> type thing like high school because like you had people like michi rooney who married like times brando married like seven times and they always said yeah i loved all of them and stuff so it's like for them i guess you had to marry to get laid basically so it was like <laughs> there was no if other that's way. the case yeah. i understand if that's the case then i fully support their motion but if not just, just, just in that th- case go for it man. Yeah. Go. if not just relax <laughs> yeah, back, that's, come back I in five years 
if he's still want to get married okay <laughs> but i'm uh, as somebody who has but the uh, thrill born... i think some people get the thrill too i mean i don't know and there must be some thrill there i don't know a party getting married the wedding the, yeah i don't understand why not i just have a wedding though don't go to the registry office don't sure, do the legal they should shit. have that that should be a new thing yeah what, what new yes it's not a new they uh, yeah. like a soft yeah, marriage <laughs> you, you get yeah, it certified but, but in 10 years I, <laughs> but you must i mean look just historically speaking though i i mean i know like it's a very complex thing but historically speaking most historians would argue that marriage did come about to protect the rights of women because mm-hmm. men tended to get women pregnant and disappear. no i'm really talking so, about right now also i agree with that you know right i'm really now, right talking now, right about now. Especially someone yeah, just like right now. Amber Heard or Johnny Epp. And even Gugush in like the 70s and that 60, time. I'm 60, 60, 70s. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was, it was yeah, yeah. Gugush okay was, yeah, back yeah. then too. But yeah, of course. I mean, you know, if we're going to start looking in different contexts and stuff. No, no, but, 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 my stupid but, but, arguments don't make any sense. In that I sense. must say as, some, as somebody who's missed this chance probably and all that. No. <laughs> I, I, might, I do feel like at certain, like after. like at the time i never i never yeah. wanted to get me i was never interested yeah. in that and all that i always found it weird like if you love somebody that's one relationship you don't want government to get involved in like if you, you know my position yeah. was always like well if you trust me and love me why should i sign a pay anyway unless but, uh, except in reality the government kind of helps you in that case so like i mean there's there's benefits often to being um I don't want married. them to just be involved in that's personal. I know, but it is the shit. in reality it is. I'm saying like if you're operating in reality, oftentimes getting married is is beneficial. You know, you can split costs, you can split taxes in other instances, you can oh yes, open yes. new uh, oh, right. new accounts, uh, yeah, doors of Mortgage, living here, whatever. all these kind of. I mean, honestly, like I was thinking anyway, would digress. a bit too much <laughs> i was thinking like yes. life is a bit like skewed if you think about it towards relationships married and, people. and marriage yes. even relationships like just being in yes, a relationship yes. you get to live in the Financial. same house for half the <laughs> for half the price unless you're paying for all of it but you know so life is very much skewed you know in in switzerland they prioritize apartments they prioritize from family to marry to couple and then single people so like single people try to get like two bedrooms or like down and like the prioritization is not like it's not some blacklist it's very old it's like law i don't know if it's law or the norms but that's how they go they're like you don't have kids okay are you married at least no relationship get the fuck out of here there's a homeless shelter <laughs> down the street. there's a bench in the park <laughs> Here, here's a revolver. I put one bullet yeah. in. Or if you want, there's this apartment. Four 18-year-olds are sharing it. If you want, there's apparently some space under the staircase. Uh, <laughs> you uh, can go uh, there. Have you, have you seen the movie Lobster? No. Co- Colin Farrell? No, no. Yeah, it's, uh, we should, you should watch that. It's very, it's very dark, but very interesting. So it's got similar, it's an interesting concept. And it's, but yeah, man, it sounds Switzerland is very much, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I think it's wrong, but yeah, I think all the laws are a bit skewed towards uh, family, but yeah, and just generally, even forget about the laws, as you say, yeah, when you share like uh, tasks and stuff, so that's nice. But then again, living with other people especially if you're not compatible is difficult and all that so that, that's why there's, there's, yeah, there's a dating period called <laughs> i would recommend <laughs> to extend that as long as possible yeah <laughs> well, yeah, like, yeah like like jesus yeah. um jesus christ man but okay anything else related to uh, the female gugush maybe you don't know about the male gugush <laughs> let me look it up maybe maybe there's an uh, underground find, traditional gonna, iranian yeah. male gugush. no he's gonna you're gonna find some goddamn armenian like uh singer from like 1920s uh, also known as gugush sometimes like all right sure. yeah. <laughs> that's the gugush i knew yeah. yeah oh i thought you were talking yeah. about the original mythical armenian <laughs> soldier king story 
<laughs> and would the, sing once in a while yeah. for his troops. <laughs> After victory, there is a tradition. <laughs> uh, you should have told me. Oh, I made a <laughs> I made an extremely important announcement in our Johnny Depp Amber Heard video <laughs> about uh, men. So check that out for sure. And um, yeah, yeah, a lot of good men are being destroyed, guys. <laughs> And ladies, please stop writing Obit and doing interviews. <laughs> we can't handle this, all right? Well, I mean, we might I guess... Tough. <laughs> but they're doing us a service. I mean, they're, they did Johnny Depp, perhaps. No, I guess now they are. But the other guy is heartbroken. I'm, the Gugush I'm, husband is heartbroken. <laughs> the, the, no, he, her uh, old man. husband is heartbroken, so you're I, right. <laughs> Gugu, I don't think Gugush's husband, even if he gets money, like anything, he's not going to... He just loves that lady, yeah. I feel like. That's the yeah, sad part about it. Well, all right. Thank you for watching, folks. Please leave all your comments, questions, and criticisms. We'll make sure you get to them. If not, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.